Hey, what's up everybody? This is Brian and welcome back to the beginning C Sharp with Unity screencast series. In this episode, I'll be covering constants and enumerations. These are two language features that not only improve the readability of your code, but make it safer as well. So far in this series, all of your variables have been able to be changed, otherwise known as mutable. Sometimes you don't want a value to be changed, such as the months in a year. All it takes is a typo to change the months of the year from 12 to 200. Thankfully, you can prevent this through the use of constants. A constant simply creates an unchanging variable. Any attempts to modify a constant will result in a compile error. Compile errors can certainly be annoying, but as you can see, in this case, you're preventing some bad things from happening. To declare a constant, put the keyword const before the type name, and that's all it takes. In some languages, constants are all uppercase, like the variable is screaming at you. This isn't the case in C Sharp. A constant uses the same naming convention as a plain old regular variable. Constants raises the issue of compile time bugs versus runtime bugs. So far in this series, there has been no definition of what it means to compile something. This was deliberate, as it was more important for you to focus on getting comfortable with the language before diving into the mechanics of it. In short, compiling is the process of converting the code you write into machine instructions. The code you write is called source code, as it is the source of your programs. On its own, the computer can't understand it. The computer, on its base layer, sees things as a series of individual granular instructions. To compile your code means converting your source code into these granular instructions so that the computer can understand them. A compile time error is when the computer cannot understand your instructions. This could be the result of a typo, or you could be trying to perform an illegal operation, such as dividing a string. When you experience a compile error, you can't run your game until you've fixed that error. A runtime error occurs while your game is in progress. For instance, you may try to access the index of an array. When you run into an error, your console will oftentimes indicate the cause as well as the location of the error in code. Unity will do its best to keep running even with your error. Never ignore runtime errors. Chances are, the error is affecting other parts of your game. We'll cover more about errors later in this series. Back to the issue at hand. So far, you've learned about constants, but what about enumerations? Throughout this series, we've been a little loose with the definition of our variables. A lot of your variable assignments were open-ended when the variable itself was meant to be specific. For instance, when asking for the number of players, you provided an int field. This has allowed users to enter a large assortment of answers. Whereas you may have only expected one or two players, users could have entered hundreds of players, or even a negative amount of players. You can prevent this through enumerations. To create an enumeration, you write the enum keyword followed by the name of the enumeration. In this case, it's called total players. Notice that the enumeration is upper camel case. Next, you define all the cases of the enumeration. These cases are all the possible values that can be picked. You first provide a pair of braces, and between the braces, you provide the cases separated by commas. And you'll notice that each case is also upper camel cased as well. And that's it. You've defined your enumeration. And now when you define a variable to be a type of this enumeration, there can only be three possible cases. In this case, no players, one player, or two players. These cases are backed by ints, which can be useful to include enumerations in your calculations. The values are automatically assigned starting at zero. With each case, the value is incremented. If you want to use a different set of values, simply put an equal sign after the case followed by the new value. If the following case does not have an assignment, then C Sharp will assign the values based on your last assignment. Finally, accessing an enumeration is just a matter of casting like so. 
Let's see enumerations and constants in action. Okay, to dive into constants and enumerations, I'm going to create a new script. I'm gonna click the Create button in my project browser, and I'm gonna call it Enumerations. And this cube, I believe, already has the switch script on it, so we're gonna remove that, and we're going to add our enumeration script on here. And now into Visual Studio we go. Okay, oftentimes you're gonna be working with variables that you don't want to change. So let's say, for instance, we're working with pi. So here we have a simple version of pi, and of course, this should be unchanging, meaning you don't want this to happen in your code. This will screw up any calculations that are dependent on pi being a constant number. So to avoid this happening, you use the const keyword like so. You can see right away, we now get a compile error. And the compile error says the left hand side of an assignment must be a variable, property, or indexer. Well, that's just a long way of saying that this is a constant, it can't be changed. Here's another demonstration. We'll say the name is Brian. And here we'll change the name to Ray. Now, you can see this assignment does take place, but if we use the const keyword, we'll now get an error under name. Now let's dive into enumerations. Typically when working with Unity, you're going to want to know what direction, say, your game object is moving, up or down, left or right, and an, and an enumeration is a really good use for this. Let's create one. I'm gonna type public, and then the keyword enum, and now the name of the enumeration. And this is going to be a direction. Now, as soon as I put the name, I'm gonna put an open brace. There's no equal sign. And we're gonna do up and down. And that's my enumeration. Now to use this enumeration, I use public again, and I'm gonna set the type, which is direction, and then we'll call this player movement. Now, if I switch back to Unity, and we select our cube. You can see down here we have player a player movement variable and now we have a drop down. If I select the drop down, you can see we can select just these different cases. I can't put anything else in this player movement property. And this makes it really useful when you need to have a value be within a certain range. Now let's use this. I'm going to create an on disable method. Here we have a variable keeping track of movement. Now when working with Unity, positive numbers indicate you're moving up, whereas a negative number means you're moving down. When working with left to right, right is positive and left is negative. To do this, we're gonna assign some values to these cases. So in this case, up is going to be one and down is going to be negative one. Now if I wanted C Sharp to automatically assign numbers, I could just delete this. And you can see here up would be one and then, then down would be two. If up was say 122, then down would be 123. Now to use this, I'll just simply type Y movement times equals, and now we'll use our player movement like so. But before I can actually use this, I have to use a cast. I have to cast this to an integer and now it's gonna multiply this case by the actual movement and amount. And we'll just print out the result here. Now back in Unity, we're gonna run our game. I'm gonna open up the console and you can see we're moving up. So if we disable the cube, you can see that's positive 10. And if we're moving down, you can see we're at negative 10. Just an important thing to keep in mind when working with enumerations. Let's say if we wanted to actually check to see if an enumeration is equal to a certain case. Well, in this case, if we wanted to see if player movement was equal to up, the way I would do this is then do direction dot up like so. So you're checking against this case here. That's it for this screencast, but as always, we like to end with a challenge. In your challenge, 
I want you to create an enumeration called Days of the Week. Create a script that takes a public enumeration. In your script in OnDisable, I want you to write a switch statement to print out the following based on the enumeration. I hope you enjoyed this screencast. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. In your challenge, I asked you to print out a statement based on the days of the week that is based on a song by The Cure. We're going to do this now. So here in the control flow folder, I'm going to create a new script. We're going to call this days of the week. So to do this, first I'm going to create an enumeration for the days of the week. And we'll just call this day of week. And we'll sign the following cases. Now that we have our enumeration, we're now going to create another variable, and this will be the current day. And this is going to be a type of day of week. And now with an on disable, we'll print out a message depending on what day of the week it is. And to do this, we'll use a switch statement. So in this case, we're going to switch on current day. And now I'll add all the various cases. Okay, so here we have our switch statement, and you can see we have all the various cases, and we're switching on day of the week, and then we're comparing that to the current day value. Let's, I'm going to save this and switch back to Unity. Now I'm going to play, and with my cube selected, I'm now going to choose a day of the week. Well, what I'll first do is actually add this to the cube, so we'll add this here. And I'm currently recording this on a Wednesday. And now when I disable the cube, you can say, you can see it says break my heart. 